up with Mr. Pa the Leech Lehan. I think it's a good idea if we uh, have a chat with Pa a little bit later on and I introduce it to him. He's one of the front runners of our fight team. He's a very experienced amateur athlete. He's been to the IMAF uh, championships three times, a twice bronze medalist. He's had nearly 20 fights now at this stage. He's got a very bright, bright future ahead of him and why do I know that? It's because of his work ethic. He works so hard. Anytime you see Pa on the mat, he's putting it in. He sweats hard, he drills hard, and not just not just brute force and ignorance training, he's actually thinking his way through. You can see him improve, you can see his wrestling improve from, from month to month. You can see his striking, sitting down on punches. Every time you see Pa, it's a better version of Pa. As well as that, he has a laid back personality, he's very personable, he's very, very popular. That combined with his just will to fight. He just, he will fight anyone, anytime, anywhere, any weight class. He fights from 66 from featherweight right up to 77. His natural weight is probably 70 as an amateur, if and when he decides he wants to go pro, that would be 66, I think. Any fight I've ever put in front of him, any offer that, that I've been given on his behalf and that I present to him, he has always said yes. He has never, ever, ever said no to a fight or even pondered on a fight. It was always, yes, straight away, yes, let's do it. He literally will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. But you and he means it. At the beginning of his career, it may have gone against him a little bit. He had some really, really, really tough matchups. And even some that I questioned myself as I was kind of saying, or as I was offered the matchups, there was a few fights there and I was like, this might be a bit too soon. But I put it to him anyway and always, yeah, I want to fight that guy. I would love to fight that guy. Or that would be a great test for me. Fantastic attitude. And, and that's, that's why I know that this, this young man has a bright future ahead of him. So we're going to hit some pads this afternoon. And I think it would be a great uh, idea if I introduced him to you guys with just a little bit of a chat, maybe a little bit of an interview. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Give him a follow. And if you have any questions for him, make sure you ask and I'll, I'll, I'll get him to reply in the comments section below. <music>
absolutely unbelievable fighter so it'll be very good to um to watch them fight to see who wins just as a fan like you know i, lo I love to like i pay to go up and watch watch them fight um and of course all my teammates on the we have what five fighters on the card so i want to i want to watch all them fighters up to be all, all good fights and um just in your own division within the amateur ranks in Ireland, there's uh, there's some really good guys. Mm -hmm. So, who who from a distance do you ad ad admire, and who would you like to compete against at some point in the future? <clears throat> well, I want to fight the. I'd li definitely love to fight the winner of Alexander Sullivan and the Simon fight. That'd be a good fight. Whoever wins, I don't care. I'll fight both of them to be honest, one after the other. But. Um, yeah, I think they're they're both the best lightweights in Ireland. Well, I know Alex is like a featherweight kind of lightweight, but still, I love give him a go for a go pro. So two of them, I think. You're well into an amateur career, but uh, you've had your fair share of losses as well. Is there, is there any regrets about the fights that you took early on in your career? Do you think some of them were a little bit too soon, um, or how how do you feel about that? I think that a few of them w might have been too soon. Like for my skill set and everything, like I wasn't ready. I fought um, like a high level purple belt three fights into my amateur career and I wasn't training that long um, but I learned loads from it I fought like I've, 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 I've fought hard, a lot of hard fights and I haven't really backed out from any of them and I've learned so much from every one of them I think that's why I'm kind of I feel like I'm so experienced now is because since I was very very new in fighting I, I fought some of like people who were around for a long time you know so get a lot of stand to me do you feel that people underestimate you based on your record? Um, I think so, yeah, probably. But I, I don't know, I don't really care about, about it until I go pro, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't bother me. I'm just going to keep getting all, racking up all the experience I can and then go pro after that. And then it, that's where it comes to. What was your favourite fight that you've had to date? My... It's hard, cause I, I fought Shane Garrity on Cage Warriors 110. That was probably the best performance and the best feeling I've ever had in like you know after winning and everything on such a big stage in front of my home fans and everything but my one of my favorite fights would probably be the meal a meal the second fight with him that was fun that was a good crack the one in court so let's uh, just talk about a meal for a second you, you guys are you're like uh, Batman and the Joker you coexist in, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in uh, the MMA world What's it like to come up to the ranks with me and how, like, what, what's the story? Tell us the story. So we fought, we both started fighting around the same time. I had one amateur fight and he had like one or two amateur fights and then we, we met in Cork and we fought and he beat me. He, no, we fought in Dublin in Battlezone and he, he just picked me apart. He beat me fairly handy. And then a couple, I had another couple of fights, maybe what was it, a year or two later, we fought again. Um, it was much, much closer. I, uh, I, I, was, I think I was winning. I was definitely winning, and then he, he just caught me fair play. And like he's, a, he's so tough, like. And then um, we fought at the eye match again, and he beat me again with. He just beat me on decision. So three fights. He's beaten me three times, but uh, it, was, it, was, it was good, good experience every single time. You know, learned loads from him. So one of the great things about competing in MMA is the ability to travel around the world. So where about have you been? Where has the sport taken you so far? And where in the world would you most like to travel? Um, this sport has taken me to some crazy places already. We're in Romania and I never thought I'd go to Romania in my life. Uh, I was in, I was, went to Italy, I went all over the place really. So um, it's brought me to a load of cool places and it'll bring me to a load more new cool, cool places. And the country I'd like to go to the most, probably America. I'd love to go to America or Australia. I know you're a big man for the goals lists and stuff like that. And you had a big list of goals for 2019. Do you want to tell us what they were, how you got on with them? And uh, what are your goals for this year, 2020? My goal was to win a Cage Warriors title, a Cage Legacy title, um, a gold medal in the, in the IMAS. And I won a Cage Legacy belt. I didn't get to win a Cage Warriors title because I just didn't get the, the enough fights in Cage Warriors. But I made up for it by winning um, another title over in England. So um, I won two belts and I won a bronze medal in the Euros. So 
if it wasn't what I wanted, but it's still it's good enough. Like it's it's it'll do. And for next year, I want cage warriors titles, amateur. I want a contenders belt. Um, if anyone will fight me on contenders, and then. I want to go to America and fight there hopefully and then go pro, that's the that's plan at the end of the year. Social media wise, where can people follow you? Where, what about your Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook? Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I don't have, well I have a Twitter but I never use it. But uh, it's at Pat underscore Lee Han. That's my handle. for watching the video I hope you enjoyed meeting Pa and I hope you give him a like on uh, Facebook and a follow on Insta and follow his career from here next week we will be traveling to the Gold Coast in Australia with Ryan de Hulk Spillane as he contests the heavyweight division at the Oceana IMAF championships this is a huge trip for us and I guarantee you there's going to be some drama on the way over we might even get coronavirus or something I'm not sure so um, and, and actually the week after that we have another uh, great episode coming up because that will be the week of Cage Legacy. So we'll be in fight week. I might even um, get some of, fight, of the fight footage into that uh, episode. So make sure please, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, we got really, really great feedback from our first video uh, from last week introducing the whole team. So if you haven't seen, seen that, go and watch that please and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you get the notifications and we will see you in the next episode.